And just like that, literally 30 seconds into the call, we started recording. Hello everyone, welcome to the Trunk Updates for 17th of October 2016. I'm Demise, and today I've got my usual bro guest, Ultraviolet4. Say hello. Hey everyone. So before we start today, um, I'm just going to let you, everyone know that uh, there's going to be a bit of a change in the channel for a little bit. I'm going to let you know at the end of the series in case, uh, in a, in a, bleh, at the end of this video, in case Ultra needs to leave early. But the first thing that I want to talk about um, before we talk about the patch notes is uh, the world record's been broken uh, for real-time speedrunning. Um, Ultra's pretty salty about that because he thought he was going to take mine away, but someone else took it before him. With his, own, honor. with his own guy, too. Like, with his own former Sid fighter. It's ridiculous. Like, uh, so congratulations to Shard. Uh, there's a bunch of numbers after that, but I don't remember what they are. It's like 1, 6, and 9, and a 7, but I'm not sure what order it is. Do you know, Ultra? Something like that. Yeah, but like, he, he took the he took my world record uh, playing Formal Sid Fighter of Okawara. 39 it's minutes, 18 seconds. Um, pretty one, impressive. 6, 9, 7. 1, 6, 9, 7? There you go. Shout out. Um, yeah, so shout outs to him. Well done. We might make a sp uh, speedrun podcast at some point just to get all the ideas down, but yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, my end of video announcement will be related to that, but we need to get moving because Ultra is a prick and he needs to go and be social, right? Uh, it's sport related. So yeah, so of... he's... He says sport, but like I don't really believe him. I think he's just going out to eat some food. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he's actually going to get some sport. Anyway, I'm in a food coma right now, so let's get moving before I fall asleep. Alright, so today, the main thing today is that it's the feature freeze for point nineteen, meaning that all these trunk updates will no longer be a thing until the next patch. Um, but the major, uh, I will be doing a catch-up video for 0.19 later on uh, when it gets released, so that, don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, this will be the final iteration of point nineteen, other than bug fixes. So the first part... Gods, Bio can now enchant, upgrade, and uncurse followers' ranged weapons. That's a Bio buff. I don't think anyone really cares. Sick. Shut up. I don't think, <laughs> I don't I think anyone. I don't think anyone. Ca I don't think anyone in this universe cares about Bio. Like legitimately. I'm so excited. Just be quiet. <laughs> you play Okawara <laughs> now. That's you. That's you, bro. I haven't seen you play anything but Formless Advice for the last week and a half. Yeah, uh, so many games. <laughs> anyway, Fedass appreciates all corpse decay and automatically rots all corpses when the player leaves a level. The fungal bloom toadstool generating generating effect is now an ability rather than a prayer effect. Thank God, I hated that so much. I thought I hated putting prey like I hated forcing prey to gain piety. It was such a bad mechanic. Now that it's going to be an ability, no one's going to really use it that much, but hey, that's fine. It's it's a step in the right direction. Well done, guys. We've almost fixed fed ass. Let's just get rid of that fruit bullshit and we'll be done. We'll be so <laughs> good. Dear God. The worst thing in the world is not RNGing your way through to 40 fruit and then dying because you just don't have enough fruit to handle anything. And your stupid little mushroom things don't do anything in vaults and you just feel so bad. Oh, <sighs> God. Anyway, good, good step in the right direction. Just need to get rid of the fruit. Uh, you want to talk anything, or you want to just leave it to it? No, that's fine. All right. If... Quasilol's cloud immunity applies to all clouds, not just the players. Very little. That's probably an edge case, but that's fine. It's pretty good. Um, that's cool. Elemental Wrath no longer generates neutral or hostile elementals from neutral or hostile clouds. That's a bit of a buff, I assume. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that they don't... Uh, they spawn either they either spawn allies or nothing. I don't know which one that is. Probably allies. So it could be pretty good anyway. I'd uh, say it would do nothing probably. Oh, fair. Jivia's uh, jelly paralyzed seems to have mysteriously vanished in the distance. You can hear a contented gurgling. So this is because um, uh, slimes don't eat your food anymore. Oh wait, no, never mind. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they do. do if I you're a that. follower. Yeah, okay, so that's weird. I don't know why that's the case. I guess that means that you can't really stop anyone, uh, stop them from eating all the Slime 3 stuff. So, uh, sorry, Slime 5 stuff. That's unfortunate, yeah. but, eh, you know, it's trivial, really. Uh, Uskayo ignores damage over time effects like Sticky Flame, Poison, and Clouds instead of only allowing piety gain after turns on which the player performed 
an attack-like action. So that means that you can't use your poison class to gain mad Iskayo piety. Uh, but to be fair, I don't think really anyone's playing Iskayo anymore. He's not a great god, but yeah. well, we'll see. Maybe he's good. Who knows? I don't think so. Anyway, prayer action is now gone. Uh, altars are now used with less than or greater than, and as with uh, and so now it acts consistently with shops and portals. I honestly don't really think that's like a major change to be honest. Like it probably doesn't need to be there. Like when you press P now on top of an altar, it just tells you to use the other two commands. <laughs> so it's like yeah. just put the prayer function. Like there's no need to not put the prayer function there. Like it, it literally. Oh god. Like seriously, man. Like like all I do now is I press the P button anyway, and then I'm like, oh, I have to use the other button. Yeah. You so get it's like, muscle memory every time. It doesn't help. You know what I mean? Like it. And the like the P button's pretty much now unbound. So it's like, what was the? There's nothing in there in at this moment anymore. There's like, there's literally nothing in that button anymore. It's like, oh god. Anyway, but I assume that's because they're trying to streamline it. But if there's nothing to replace it, like, it's kind of questionable as to why you're removing it. Especially when like, leave it. Yeah. yeah, they even know that like the prayer button is gonna be pressed by everyone because they have a freaking message that tells you. So it's like, is there a point really? Anyway, moving on. Uh, so monsters that could be butchered for their hides, trolls and dragons, uh, instead have a chance of leaving behind the armor equivalents. Instead of deaths, dragon armor has now been correspondingly renamed to dragon scales. So this is just a pretty nice quality of life buff. Basically means that you don't have to spend that first enchant armor getting that uh, extra um, hide. And it does cut down somewhat on the RNG, or the bad feeling when you get a corpse and then you butcher it and there's no <laughs> scales, or you don't get a corpse at all. It just feels bad. Um, at least now you get it instantly, which is nice. Uh, got a bit freaked out early, uh, early on when I saw this one. I thought I had to like enchant yeah. it again, and I was like, "Oops." Me too. <laughs> so I was yeah. like, "Oh, dragon scales. That can't be the right armor, even though it looks like armor. They must have a different tile for it now." But yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did the same thing with swamp dragon armor. <laughs> I put on for our poison, and I was like, "Is this the hide?" <laughs> Can't tell. Not the same. <laughs> oh, that's good. Anyway, um, so that's that's nice. Spellbook rarity is fixed for the first time since 0.4. Some spellbooks will be less common on earlier dungeon levels. This was intended throughout, but the code was broken. Such an exciting feature that no one noticed it was missing for eight years. So maybe now the threads on Reddit that say, "Oh, uh, I found a Necronomicon on D1. Should I switch from a full Min Minotaur fighter to Necronomicon?" Maybe that will be fixed now. So, uh, no. Nah, in in seriousness, that's like it really doesn't matter that much because. Spell books that are like rare in the early dungeon doesn't really matter. If you're going a book start, you were gonna go a book start in the first place. Like it doesn't it's not too relevant. Um and for melee it's, it really doesn't mean anything to get books in the early dungeon. It doesn't actually do much. So yeah, uh that's a change, but I don't think it's too relevant. But it does nerf Trog early game, which is not I, relevant. <laughs> I don't know that it means spell books will be less common in general. Oh right, right. No, no, sorry, yeah, yeah, you're right. Some spell books. Means the ones that you find are more likely to be, say, starter books rather That's, than... That might actually be a lot better for us, then, in that case, because yeah, you'd be able to get a lot be more for, stuff. Yeah, exactly. So it probably sounds pretty good. Yeah, okay, never mind. I was mistaken. I didn't read it properly, I guess. All right, scimitars and great swords are slightly buffed. Thank God, I guess. Great swords are, like, the crappy version of great mace, and, like, scimitars are the crappy version of demon blades and double swords. Hopefully with their buff, they'll be slightly more competitive. Because you feel sad when you're wielding a scimitar and zot. You don't feel sad when you're wielding a double sword. You know what I mean? Like, it's just scimitars, man. It feels bad for them. Um, Plutonium sword no longer grant turns plants into free XP. So that's following a Reddit thread where a guy was stuck with the Plutonium sword and he was hitting plants, turning them into stuff, and then killing that thing for XP. It's a yeah, really inefficient way. Huh? Hoping for the polymorph effect, which yeah, I think is amazing, but it's a stupidly slow <laughs> thing. Like it, it would not make a difference, even if you killed a whole floor full of plants. Like you'd get less EXP than just killing normal stuff, because it only transforms into like one-hit dice monsters anyway. It's just like yeah. uh, manual manuals of stealth and unarmed combat are no longer twice as common as the other types. That behavior was added as a hack years ago when stabbing slash traps and door skills were removed. So rest in peace. Vine Stalker Monk? Question mark. Uh, hmm. Manuals aren't too big of a deal, so it's not going to impact the game too much. Uh, it might mean that you will be more likely to get the other types of magic, though, which is uh, other types of manuals, which is quite nice. 
Artifact weapons can now generate with protection or chaos brands. This is fairly important because um, it means that now everyone can be a little bit zombed uh, from time to time. With chaos brands coming into artifacts, that means that we're going to be seeing a lot more chaos, uh, which will reduce the pool of really good brands like vampiric speed, you know, flaming uh, electricity. Yeah, that's true. Um, protection is not that great, by the way. The new protection plus seven AC is not that much different from plus five, and you have to hit no. it, so it's yeah, it's kind of bad. Amulets of dismissal suddenly vibrate and disappear forever. So this is a bit of a problem for me. This is a dilemma because. Amulets of Dismissal were like one of those mid-tier amulets that you would sometimes use. So you're removing them again. So now you're getting rid of... You're, di you're like making the already tiny pool of amulets even worse. It's very interesting how they go about that. I don't really know what the point of that is. Uh, I understand that Dismissal is like a really frustrating mechanic, but in reality, all you've got now realistically is Regen, Reflection, and Faith. Um... Some people and like. Harm. Yeah, don't don't talk to me about harm. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Even on speedruns, it's not good anymore, dude. I just realized you could berserk off it. It's like no need. It's faster. No, it's just so berserk. good. I know it's, it's awesome. Oh yeah, you go play your speedruns with, with harm. I want to see you die in like two to. hits. Yeah, right, yeah, I want to see it. Show me. I've I've won with it. Have you? My best time is with harm. God, that's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, in terms of monsters, Ushapti, Death Rattle now fires. Pla what? I have no idea what that is. Probably a Desolation Assault enemy. No one goes in that, so don't worry about it. It's not going to be ever relevant to you. If you go no, in Desolation that's in Assault. Two. Oh! That's... Wait, what was actually... that? Is that the t statue? Yeah, that's actually so bad. Oh my it God. fires Miasma instead of Negative Energy, so it doesn't drain that's... you now, it slows and Miasmas you. And s makes you sick. That's so much worse. That sucks. Because the that means now the shining one doesn't stop you from like, taking damage. Previously, you could just ignore those guys if you have. Does the shining one play. not block miasma? I don't believe so. It's wow. still like a poison effect, isn't it? Rather than a negative energy one. D uh, I don't sure. know. <laughs> I have no idea how miasma works, dude. <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> All I know is I hate it. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure it uses poison rather than negative energy. Uh. Because you're immune to it as a gargoyle. Okay, I, yeah, I guess. Okay, that's, I think that might be because you can't breathe, though. You don't need to breathe as gargoyle. I don't know. In yeah. any case, that makes those dudes sound a lot worse. Yeah, they because become the uh, Shadow Drakes. Those Death Drakes, I hate the Death Drakes. Being drained a bit, if you had to, is nowhere near as bad as being slowed. Yeah, fair. Anyway, don't go in Tomb. That's the end. That's the moral of the story. Uh, yeah. Weak Azot dragons have been replaced with nasty ones, so I'm assuming that means fire and ice dragons have been removed from Zot and put in with bone dragons and steel and iron dragons and shadows. That's really bad. It actually makes it so that uh, the food management in Zot is a little bit worse because you can't eat those higher level dragons. Uh, hope they don't put Quicksilver dragons in there. That'd be really bad. Uh, but, they do, uh, actually. Oh, that man. explains why I saw them. There oh, no. I thought that was weird. <laughs> no, please. I couldn't remember ever seeing them. <laughs> Dear was, God, no. That was crazy. Fuck, was... that's really bad. Putting Quicksilvers in Zot is like the worst idea. Holy shit. Imagine like hasting up to fight an all the fire and then just bam, you got nothing. Oh, that would yeah. be so disgusting. Oh. And, and also, now you have a delayed teleport. So you're yeah. waiting for your delayed don't, teleport No spoilers, you bastard. Hey, don't spoil it. We haven't done that yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm deducting one point from you. Your next speedrun, you must control Q when you're about a world record. That's your, <laughs> that's your deduction penalty. I want to see it. Uh, anyway. <laughs> river rats and iguanas are mostly removed from lair. Kind of annoying, because I like river rats in the lair. Kind of gives the idea of the swarm, but there's not any swarm enemies left now. There's just pack enemies. I don't really like yeah. the fact that they keep removing low threat enemies. It's like, it just means that like you're gonna be constantly spending your X, uh, XP, uh, your consumables and stuff, and you're not gonna have that much time to rest in between fights. Uh, having said that, I don't know. River rats aren't that strong, so like maybe it's acceptable, but I don't know. I just feel like having like lair just be full of dangerous threats every single time is gonna be really frustrating when you just go down a pack of. Uh, a set of stairs, and then you just like got a million enemies that are like way harder than you can deal with. It's like, yeah. uh, 
It's going to be and some balance. You're a deep dwarf of MacLab, and now you can't heal off easy things. You can heal off porcupines. They look mashed. Good enough. <laughs> anyway. Hornets and wasps have merged into one monster, roughly averaging their strength. To avoid confusion, the <laughs> monster is called a hornet. <laughs> it's also yellow. <laughs> okay, so they just they made the yellow ones and the 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 red ones switched into each other. Um, I remember that the red one, the yellow one, can paralyze, right? Oh, is it the red one? I think they both could. No, no, one of them paralyzes, one of them slows. I think the red one paralyzes, the yellow one slows. Um, yeah, I, but, I don't know. I think they've. I don't know, I'm not sure what the difference is. One of them, yeah, one of them can paralyze, one of them can slow, but I don't know which one the new one can do. Uh, I'll have to check that later. But if it's paralyzed, I'm going to be pissed, because that sucks. Again, paralysis is not a fun mechanic, guys. Pressing enter until you die is not fun. God damn it. Anyway, uh, putrid demon spawn and chaos champions have bitten the dust. I have no idea what those are. Blood Saints grabbed the ladder's call of chaos. Pretty rude IMO. Is this Gamma Fungus? No, it's Pleasing Fungus. Okay, fair. Um, you see yeah, so that's, Pan. Yeah, that's Pan and stuff. Sometimes on the Auburn. Putrids, I don't really know much about. Chaos Champions, I don't know much about either. I think you see Putrid Demon Spawns a little bit in Orc. Uh, they don't do much, though, from what I remember. Um, the Chaos Champions did, like, some wacky shit, but that's fine. Hopefully they've been removed. Uh, like, I don't know what the Call of Chaos exactly is. Like I said, being in Extended just means, like, knowing enough stuff. Like, all this stuff is, like, so irrelevant. It's... I don't know. Like, even if you played Extended a lot, you probably don't really know what the Demon Spawns do, because you just mash through them anyway. Like, you're just like, oh, I assume this does this. I assume this does this. But you never actually take your time to learn. It's kind of why I don't like Extended that much. It's like... Or maybe you just haven't done it enough. No, I so guarantee you. you them. I guarantee you. This, you can just tab through them. It doesn't matter. Like, none of them have anything of actual threat. Every time I've done Extend, I've just tabbed through them. That's like, I've done it like six, seven times since Demon Spawns have come back, and I still have no idea what that they do. Anyway, uh, this is interesting. Spells, new spell. Leather Beckoning pulls the adjacent uh, the target adjacent to the caster, range 2 at power 0, 7 full screen at uh, power 200, and it's irresistible. So this is a nice Blitzcrank grab, um, or Pudge Hook, or uh, what other cards? What other champions are there? Devourer, Hook. <laughs> Uh, what's that guy in uh, Overwatch? You know the one. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that guy, he hooks, like his hook. It's one of those... Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, does it? Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that one rips his guts out, doesn't he? Or something, like he disembowels. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Is it RNG? If it's a... No, if it's a fatality. Okay, fair enough. Um, Relento's thing from Street Fighter kind of does that a little bit. Not really, though. Uh, yeah, so like just a whole bunch of like random video games. Uh, this is just one of those mashed up concepts. Uh, level 3 and irresistible means that it's going to be pretty much useless, I think. I don't think it's going to save the <laughs> translocation spell, like to be honest. Rarely are there times where you want to like actually pull something towards you uh, that's uh, like two screen uh, spaces away. Unless it pulls enemies through other enemies, it's not going to be useful. Uh, it could well, be. What useful. about traps? Can you teleport things? I don't think it would mean anything. Traps are not very important, dude. They don't actually in, affect enemies that much. Say you stand next to a teleport trap and then beckon an enemy to. Yeah, you. but you know, you just know that it's going to be RNG based on where it's going to be pulled. Either that, or it's going to be in front of you. But it's very hard to determine yeah. what's in front. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's a new spell, I guess. I don't think it's going to see too much use. It might be useful in certain situations, but. I don't know. It sounds sounds fun without being that good. Basically, Unless... no one's going to use it ever until it gets buffed. <laughs> Maybe you can use it with Conjure Flame or something. See, um... old Reb's Toxic Radiance, please. <laughs> great great fun until you realize that it's terrible and then you just don't play it. Uh, so the Apportation, Apportation has been replaced in Warp's starting book with Lesser Beckoning. Various other spellbooks have also been slightly tweaked. Interesting. That makes me so sad. That does make me sad, because now Warpers don't have Apportation. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's fucked. Such a good spell, and now you that's have like this. That's like literally the one of three spells in the Warper book that you actually care about. Like Blink, Apportation, and Passage of Galubria. Everything else is like garbage. Like Teleport Other. Wow, what a great spell. <laughs> For only three mana, you can do absolutely nothing. God. Anyway. Um, that's interesting. 
irradiate and now cause a significantly less contamination, that probably won't make anyone still use it. Uh, it should now yeah. be safe for three to four uses before entering yellow glow. And the haste spell has been removed. I've already talked about the haste spell being removed um, at length, I think. I don't remember which video it is, but the short end of it is that it doesn't matter too much, but it affects mages badly. Um, and it seems to be part of a reform of removing permanent, uh, continuously renewable resources. Uh, th sorry, spells that mimic resources. So it's similar to the removal of, I guess, uh, wand, uh, sorry, ring of teleportation where you can evoke random telly. Uh, what else is there? Like, heal wounds? Nah. It's not really any of the heal wounds uh, thing, but yeah, they've removed that essentially. Like, they instead of removing invisibility, they removed the wand of invisibility. Like, they're just trying to make it so that like things don't mimic each other things, uh, pretty much. Um, so that's I think cool. You're forgetting one important character that it also affects. You're gonna meme me, aren't you? <laughs> Am I that Go obvious? on. Go on, meme it. All right. Fifteen room. Get the characters. hell out of here. What did you say? 15 rune BO characters. You Who's can BO? Use haste, what you did can you just say to me? Spell on what, your did you just, what did you just say to me? What did you <laughs> actually just say to me? Get the hell out of this. What are you doing here? Get out. Build a wall. It's, leg it's legit, I swear. You're not that, no. I will never take authority from you as a 15 runer. Come on, man. <laughs> You're just a meme stuff. He just, he just memes all the time. Don't worry about him, guys. He's got a condition where he tips. He's got a condition where he thinks Bio is a good god. It's 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 a uh, it's very rare, but you know, it's incurable by modern medicine. When, once we remove Bio, though, I think it'll be fixed. Anyway, <laughs> uh, another layer of contamination has been is now displayed between ye gray and yellow. This should make it easier to tell when you're close to being dangerously contaminated. Great, contamination's not really an issue, but yeah, great, thanks. Uh, hopefully that will help everyone out in figuring out if they're going to get yellow glowed or not. Contamination reduction is now specifically caused by potions of cancellation rather than all debuffing effects. So that basically means that if you had, um, if you got hit by, for example, a Draconian's Purging Blast, or you got hit by a Quicksilver Dragon's Blast, you wouldn't lose contamination. It's probably a nerf. I don't think there are any other contamination reduction spells or items that uh, the player can use. So it's mostly a nerf, kind of. But like I said, contamination is a very niche case, so I don't think it's too important. Um, does does Ruse ability get rid of it? Draw out hell? I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it it's, doesn't. It removes... That's a debuff, I think. No, no, that, that's a buff. That. That's a removal of debuffs. Maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. Debuffing is like... removal of debuffs. <laughs> debuff means different things to different players. Like... It could mean yeah. not buffing, True. or it could mean anti-buff, so that's kind of weird. Uh, anyway, player species and forms no longer have hidden stealth factors. Ogres, trolls, and centaur stealth aptitudes have been decreased by a point each to compensate. Yeah, because you're ever going to get away with st centaur stealth at a classic minus three. Oh, that's going to be good. Uh, and to compensate, Dithmenos' shadow form now gives an explicit stealth multiplier, and various other stealth effects have been slightly tweaked. Wave goodbye as you leave, remarkably stealthy treat. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. It means that the stealth factor is completely consistent now, which is great. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. It's mostly just like a admin change. It's not really too big of a deal. Uh, yeah, trees are renamed and recolored in console during the effects of Awakened Forest. Pretty cool. Um, I wish they did it in tiles too, but you kind of can tell if it's in tiles. I guess not in uh, console. But yeah, it's a bit of a nerf, buff, it doesn't matter, it's a nice change. Uh, bat form no longer prevents quaffing and door use. This is overpowered, this is like the most broken, <laughs> holy shit, that's actually broken, like, that's actually really good, dude. Vampires can now bat form, run back, drink a magic potion, heal wounds, haste, and then get out of bat form and fight again. And they mm. can open doors, overpowered. Like, holy moly, that's actually really good. Um, big vampire buffs uh, in the last couple of patches are pretty good. They've actually become a lot more manageable of a race now. Yay. Uh, this one relates only to me, um, not to Ultra. Ultra doesn't know what Berserking is. 
He's been uh, in stasis for so long that he's lost all sense of Berserk. Because uh, I have clarity, is what he means to say. No, you have stasis. Clarity. Stasis. I'm pretty sure that formers don't have sta uh, clarity. Were you playing Ash and Zarya or something? <laughs> anyway. Uh, so Berserk now costs hunger on activation rather than on expiration. It's no longer possible to avoid the effects of Berserk Artist by remaining, by remaining very hungry. So I've noticed this while playing speedruns a bit. You tend to go starving while Berserk a lot, and it's kind of scary. I don't actually know if it... if Does, does being starving affect your combat? No. Okay, if it doesn't, then that's okay. Because I was going to say, like, it is kind of scary to fight while you're starving, but, um, you know, after a while you just get used to it. I don't think it's too big of a deal, but it's still kind of scary, I think. So that means you can starve to death now? If you have Berserk Itis. Um, well, you were going to starve to death anyway if you had Berserk Itis. This isn't really that relevant. Um, no, but you, you, might, you might have food that you could eat, but then... Yeah, but it won't give you... It won't get, I don't think it'll get you to fainting. You will never... I don't think you'll starve to death from Berserk. Mm. I have a feeling. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. auto... Uh, yeah? It sounds like a fun way to die. <laughs> yeah. Auto Butcher now functions only when auto exploring to make it more useful to characters that might want to use cultists. I fucking hate this. This is actually the opposite of what I want. I want the goddamn Auto Butcher to work when I move over a tile. It's so god frustrating when the goddamn uh, green outline for Berserkers. Like, it just. It doesn't feel right. Because you're like walking over and you're like, is it gonna pick it up? It's not. It's just gonna do nothing. So you think your auto pickup's off. You turn it on and off and you're like, it's on though, and then you realize, <laughs> oh wait, it's auto butcher. Damn it! <sighs> if only it's, there was a way to fix it. I I think the best way to do it would be to have you could put on P now that that does nothing. That you have, you could press Control P to turn it on and off. That's because... print. You're just gonna open up print in in uh, <laughs> yeah. in, in Chrome and shit, man. <laughs> Can't yeah, do that. I mean, you can send your print screen to the devs <laughs> with a note on it saying, what fix this, is this? Fix this broken game. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, messages. If you have a, a way hey. of turning it on and off, because if you have, say, Animate Skeleton, you yeah. don't want to quit your game halfway through to change yeah, it. Yeah, to fix your RC file. Off. Exactly. <sighs> but, but if you don't have those things, as you say, you want it to worse. butcher when you step on it. Yeah, because like when you're playing Minotaur Berserker, you're never gonna use those things, so you just want to exactly. butcher everything. But like when you move over, you're like, do I have to really press C now? Damn it, I've yeah. been so spoiled. Anyway, that before I was be rudely next... interrupted, shut the fuck up. It's my time to talk now. No, that might be the next thing. I'm not gonna move C. <laughs> I like how you're like, no. The devs are removing all these buttons from the game. Remove all the buttons. Mind control. VR reality press... is here. Yeah. When you press C, it will say Butcher with O. <laughs> no, 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 it's like all buttons are now remapped to O. You can only press O and it automatically plays the game for you. We've got the bots, we've got the technology. You can just, you can just like, uh, check. And, and like, Z only presses O, like, once every, like, 30 minutes. But, like, it does all the things for him very slowly. He gets to watch it for 30. What a, what a great example of, uh, crawl design. Anyway. So, um, message at top RC file options should hopefully be more useful for people using screen readers. So that's for the blind. It yeah. should print messages before printing the rest of the screen. If anyone reading this uses a screen reader, <laughs> let us know if that helps. Apparently one person, just one person has that problem. So uh, that was so fixed. Much. Thank God for that. Um, that must be very difficult to play crawl through a screen reader. Funny how the devs will cater to blind people, but not to Australians. Interesting. <laughs> We're lower on the social tier than blind people. Ah, damn it. How do you feel about the date for the tournament, by the way? Is this screwing um, you over? No, I'm fine with it. Fuck you. Actually, it's fine if it's I hate that you. date. Get out. Good it's because I'm finished. No, you're not. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. You failed. Get, get back here. Anyway. Uh, the orb runs teleport restrictions now apply through the Zot branch, which is pretty important because uh, it essentially means that you get delayed tele and also uncontrolled links and also po uh, portals of Glubria. Like, n no portals of Glubria, which is insane. Like, Isn't it called Passage? Yeah, it's wrong, but 
No, 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 no. Portal is in like the act. It, a passage of Galubia creates a portal, probably. Yeah. Probably. But yeah, that's a real big nerf to the translocation school. Again, showing us exactly why we don't use translocations anymore, other than for blink. The main reason for that though is to stop. Did you see? Have you ever seen the passage cheese on yeah. Zelda Five? I've seen it a yeah. couple of times. Like I've seen, and Formacy can use passage too, which is kind of overpowered. Um, but yeah, like I don't know. Seems good. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yep. So that's a big nerf to Zot. It's gonna make Zot a lot harder, kind of. Uh, uncontrolled blink, particularly. It's very bad for um, turn count speedrunners. Yeah. It probably costs them about five hundred turns now. Pretty much, yeah. So that's gutted them. So that's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Enjoy uh, your high score forever, purple red. <laughs> nah, until someone goes back in time and then like plays an older version and wins. And yeah. you'd just be like, hey, Lamau. Anyway, uh, large number of vaults have been added and reworked. Volcano in particular has been heavily revised and should be more dangerous and more potentially rewarding. Volcano's the worst one. Why are you putting more? What the hell? That one's the hardest one. Fire damage is so bursty. Like, molten uh, gargoyles, uh, flame spitters. Like, those ones are really hard to kill. Like, how are you <laughs> buffing that? Why is it more dangerous? That one's hard, man. That was kind of you know you know what makes it even worse, what? which is what it happened to you as well. I saw when you were playing because people are dying in there more often. There's more ghosts. There more ghosts in there. So every time you go in, there's <laughs> a bloody ghost in there. It's like Desolation Assault. There's like sixty ghosts in there. They're all overpowered, but they're too weak to do Desolation Assault and then exactly. get killed. Uh, hints mode text has been updated and revised for the first time in a while. Good step in the right direction, but uh, yeah, a little bit too little, too late, I guess. Though, to be fair, I think Hints Mode is probably the... It's better than the tutorial by far. It, it, it gives you a more hands-on approach. I might actually go through Hints Mode, check it out, and uh, put it on the channel if you guys want to see it. Just so I can, like, you know, get through a review of the tutorials and stuff. Anyway, uh, in the last great convulsion of the great renaming of 0.19, Great Naga are now Najra, Na Nagaraja. What the fuck? And Great Slings are Fist... Fist... Fist and Dantalist. Fistibular. Fistibular. Great. Naga Raja. Why the fu- Stop renaming things to be stupid. What the fuck? We're trying- Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> fuck. Every time. <laughs> you did not need to call it Fistibly. You did not need to call them Nagaraja. Like, there was no need to change these things from Greater Naga and Great Slings. Do you just not like the word Great? Why are the Great Maces still there? Why isn't it called... Um, actually, I don't know what the Great Maces actually would be called. What, what's it called in a, a, a bludgeon? No, no, no. Like, there's like a, a name for like that kind of mace particularly, right? Surely. Uh, yes. A bomby knocker? No. That's got a chain on it. Oh, so the flail is a bomby knock. Can we can we petition that? Dire flail, remove. It's just dire and flail. Bomby knocker. <laughs> yeah. Put in the game. Put make me dev. Put me in the game. <laughs> no, make me dev. No, shut up. I'm dev. If you vote me in dev, I promise to make slings great again. I promise to room. I promise to build a wall, and then all the electrical enemies will be on the other side of that wall. <laughs> and then, and then Ultra will be on that side of the wall as well. And he doesn't have RLX because he's a fucking noob. He made the classic mistake of not finding RLX before you find electric enemies. Classic mistake. What an idiot. Lol. <laughs> oh my god. The amount of speed runs we've lost to electric enemies in a one v one randomly cannot be counted anymore. It's ridiculous. They account for like almost five percent of deaths, which is a lot considering how much you die in speed runs. <sighs> anyway. Orc Wizard should no longer kill the player on turn 20 of D1. That's, um, uh, that refers to a, another Reddit thread where a guy saw a bunch of random shit on, like, D1. It was crazy. And skeletonless skeletons will no longer appear in hell. That's spooky. I don't I understand that. That's crazy. I don't know what that means. That's, that's too much. Um, so yeah, that about wraps it up for, uh, this thing. Um, I'm gonna just quickly go over stuff for the channel. So for those of you that don't, don't know, today, as I said in earlier in the video, my world record for real time speedrunning has been cut off by Shard for two minute uh by two minutes. I got beaten by a minute and forty seconds. 
which is a lot more than I was expecting uh, the next world record to be by. But to be fair, when I claimed my own world record, I beat the last guy by like seven minutes. So I guess we're getting slightly to the point where the diminishing returns are there. Like I don't think I'm gonna be able to cut seven minutes off thirty nine minutes. Um, but yeah, no. for the yeah. No, you you won't. There's still quite a bit of room in that run that he did though. Possibly, but I don't think so because that's what we said in my one. But realistically, it's quite hard to reproduce. Um, yeah, well, I mean, you, you always need to get lucky, but he he got a D9 altar, which is extremely late, and he's still using a one-handed weapon as a former suit. So it's like, if you got more, if he played the same way and got more lucky, you could theoretically beat it by quite a bit still. Yeah. I mean, but how likely is that? You might have to play hundreds or thousands of games to get it, but it's Nah, possible. I'll play two more and then I'll get it. Don't worry about it. It's all good. All right. I believe in the RNG, even though I've only seen three vampiric weapons in the last, like, 40, 50 games. I mean, that's fine, but, God, yeah. I'm not happy about it. That's the main thing. I don't yeah. I don't think a world record will not have a vampiric weapon. Says you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did say that, so that's what I just meant to say. <laughs> you right. said that. <laughs> anyway, um, so that means that, unfortunately... For a little while now, I'm going to be doing some more speedruns uh, on the channel because I don't have, like, I'm having a lot of, like, real life stress right now because um, uni's, like, going through crunch period and Ultra's, like, still trying to get, like, the world record even though he's been completely and utterly devastated by someone else who took his own guy and beat him with it. Like, that's pretty embarrassing, Ultra. What do you have to say about that? Do you know why he did that? Huh? Do you know why yeah, he because he because he, he did that originally, right? Um, I think he was the one who told me about using a former Sith. Yeah, you got but beaten then, by the own the guy. Like you got destroyed. You're just you just what got proven as he, inferior, really. If you think about it. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I'm just true. I'm just like stabbing him and twisting the knife. <laughs> this is classic Australian banter. You never let someone once someone's on the ground, you just keep kicking. It doesn't matter how long you've been kicking. You just keep kicking until they get back up. You know what I mean? You just got to keep kicking until they get a comeback. So, Ultra, yeah. how do you feel about this massive failure on your part? Specifically your because part. Because this is standard Australian banter. <laughs> He's not even phased, guys. He's not even phased. Someone someone needs to help me. I need to level up my game. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, don't know too much about the Ogre, Fire, uh, Ogre Earth Elementalist. I will probably be doing that instead of Sproggy with Sundays. But for now, I want to focus more on speedrunning. I apologize. For those of you that don't enjoy my speedruns, but in all honesty, I want to get this achievement, and I don't have enough time to record and speedrun at the same time. So either you get speedruns on the channel, or you basically don't get anything, because, or you get really short episodes, because I need to put in some work, because I'm really, like out of touch with the game. I haven't won in a month. Like, it's crazy. I have played a bit, but I haven't won. Um, even though it looks like I've, I'm been doing okay on the channel, it's not quite the same when you're playing by yourself. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to prove Minotaur Berserker to be the best, uh, while Ultra and Shard will try to prove that Formless and Fighter is the best. Um, and maybe I'll just prove that Minotaur is the best. I have been do doodling around with... Uh, different strategies. But yeah, Ultra's got to get the hell out of here, so I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you stuck around to the end. Ultra, what do you got to say for yourself? Uh, Come on, where's the excuse? Where's the option select? Come on. Tell uh, us why me. you're not the world record holder right now. Vote me as dev. I will make vampiricism work on every enemy type. Yeah, he died on a world record run. Um because he tried to fight a Shadow Dragon, and he thought he was going to heal, and he didn't, and he died. And I was like, no, Ultra, but then I didn't type to him because I didn't want to distract him. I wanted him to die. Do you <laughs> know, I lost another really good run where apparently I was wielding a plus zero war axe instead of my plus seven <laughs> battle axe of flaming. And I never oh, noticed. Classic. Classic speedrun strategies. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks, guys. And, uh, yeah, until next time. Say goodbye. Bye.